and friends this is Umesh Sharada from CATCAM Solution Merit and in machine wise we have already created this base this base we have already created so today we will create this third sliding block this third component and second component movable job so uh, in this third component we have one front view top view and side view uh, and I will start from this front and I will extrude it at 70 so let's start so select the sketch and <coughs> YZ plane and I am creating a, a rectangle and one more rectangle now align vertically now dimension it this dimension is 62 and this upper is 50 and 10 is the bottom and total is 57 okay and align this line with this horizontal axis as collinear now the hole is remaining so a square threaded 25 millimeter dia 3 is a pitch and left handed so create a circle of 25 and distance is 23 from the top so I will check this from the here from here so here it is okay we will take this because this hole and this hole will co-centrate so we have to check okay uh, now I am creating this as per the drawing if we will face any problem in assembly that time we will modify it so now it is 23 and align with this and exit now select extrude and extrude symmetrically and the half of 70 is 35 apply again this upper portion symmetric unite apply and in wireframe we have this circle symmetric and subtract and ok show this ok hide this sketch now we have to create this four hole so select this hole and click over the top and the dimensions are twelve this dimension is twelve and 38 means 19 from the middle okay close now mirror it so mirror and access apply and the distance is same so select this and this point and this time my access is this and finish okay so holes are 4 hole M8 so we have already used M8 23 is the depth 23 is a depth so select this threaded hole M8 23 is a depth and 18 is 12 is the thread depth and apply okay now select this and if you want to apply the threading okay no problem we will see the thread over this screw and and save it 
uh, this sliding block. And now we will create this second part movable jaw. So start from sketch and I will start from the side. So click. And the dimensions are 35 and the total length is 106 and this value is 32 and this one is 22 plus and well it is 6 millimeter at this corner okay now just finish it and extrude this sketch symmetrically and 176 divided by 2 and okay hide this sketch and from this front okay so we have four hole so I will select this hole and the dimensions are for this hole 12 okay this is 12 and uh, 38 means 19 okay 19 now mirror it center line is this okay finish now the hole is 8 dial counter shank hole so change to counter shank 16 is a counter dia 8 is the main dia and depth is throughout okay okay at the same two hole i need at this face so select sorry I haven't select this hole click hole now align this point vertically and the distance between these two holes is 46 now mirror this point And the center line is this vertical axis finish and the same hole I need so keep the parameter same okay at the top so top select this face click and click this and okay and here first point is this define the parameter 112 divided by 2 okay and 15 from this point this lower edge 15 now mirror it Select the point and mirror curve. Finish and select this hole. And the hole is it is not 
specify here but these whole are same as we have in the base m8 so here m8 18 is a 3d depth and 23 is a total so click here and here okay now select and save it